this new computer art tutorial for this particular project. Um, we are calling this the parts project. And so what we'd like to do is take some kind of object from nature and then um, put together parts over the top of an image uh, to make it so that it's no longer a natural image uh, made out of artificial or manufactured things. And so this particular example, I took the image of a flower, and here if I turn off my layer of bottles, I took this sunflower image and uh, copied and pasted these bottles and changed their hue saturation in order to make them look like they were leaves. Um, also layered a basketball kind of image over the center here and turned down the opacity as well as um, taking some electrical cords and kind of hiding those in the flowers. Um, another way to do this so you can either cut and paste layers over the top of an image or you can kind of collage images and then delete around them kind of to create a silhouette here of an image. And this is what I'm going to actually show the tutorial on is how to create this particular image of kind of uh, this shark that's kind of made up of these plastic bottles. So if I'm going to go ahead and get started, I'll start a new um, project document. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to um, bring in the image of the shark. And so I'll go over to Google Chrome here, copy this image of the shark that I had found that I liked. And uh, now I will go File New and start a new document. No need to change the size here as the clipboard will know that I've copied an image. I'll say Create and then I'll go to Edit Paste or uh, Command V on our keyboards. So now that I have that shark in there, um, I also already copied and pasted in a uh, image of bottles here that I'm going to use. So I'm going to use actually to select these and um, if you have an image where your images are on white that helps a lot. Um, if they have other backgrounds you may need to use something more like your lasso tool to actually get those um, a little more accurate. But for this particular example I can take my quick selection tool and I click and hold on it and drag my mouse to kind of make selections. Now if you um, find yourself selecting areas that you didn't want to, try just clicking single clicks with your quick selection tool and you'll have a little more luck that way probably. Um, so now what I'm going to do is just hit Command C in order to copy that image and I'm going to bring it over here and go Command V. And now I have one bottle. Now I'm going to hit Command D to get rid of my selection and go ahead and start selecting the second bottle. So again, sometimes clicking just your mouse just once at a time in order to get all the parts of a selection is best. Command C, and then going over here and Command V, I'll paste in that one, and then I'll get this last one. Command D to unselect or deselect. And going into this last bottle so that I have a little variety, not all just um, the same bottle over and over again. I'm going to hit Command C and Command V once I go back into this new image. So now I'm just going to take these and kind of resize them and position them all over my shark image. Whenever you transform, you're going to need to hit the return key. See how that line goes lighter? That means that you can continue working on your project. You may find if you're in the middle of a transformation, like so, and then you go to click on something else, it won't let you because you're still in the middle of making a transformation. So let's go ahead and shrink this maybe just a little more and then I'm going to hit, actually what I'm going to do is kind of line up these uh, tops of the bottles with the fins so that those kind of um, work there. And then hit return when you're done transforming an object. Uh, maybe I'll take this one and flip it around and shrink it smaller and put it right there. Now what I'm going to do is just copy these over and over to kind of fill up the rest of the space. So if I hold my option key on my keyboard and you see the little arrow kind of pops up underneath my cursor and I click and drag I can get a new copy of this and then I'm just going to kind of shrink it and spin it and kind of continue this process until you can no longer see whatever the animal is that you are uh, that you're looking at so again I'm going to hold option and click and drag in order to get um, a new copy of that layer and then I'll just kind of rotate it shrink it and kind of get it to fit over this fin and hit enter when I'm done with that. So again, copy it in here. Let's try and make this maybe go this way and we'll fit it into this spot and hit enter. Um, I'm going to keep going here. Let's see, maybe take a copy of this one and put it down in this area. And it's okay that they don't fit perfectly. 
I'm going to show you how we're going to crop these out later on. All right, so hitting return when that's done. Um, again, going to take maybe this larger bottle. Oops, I was holding the shift key. I want to hold the option key. So clicking, dragging with the option key uh, gave me both of those bottles because I had both of them highlighted or selected. That's okay. I didn't want to squish. I just wanted to rotate. So let's kind of rotate this and maybe put it around here. That seems good. Um, again, taking this last one, I'm going to just move it back in here so that it makes sense. Um, maybe I'll take this one as well and copy it over here. Okay, so just about done now. I might take one more of these. Oh, hit return, keep that transformation. Option click and drag. I'm going to put this in this last spot here. That's kind of the nose of my shark. All right, cool. So I can't really see my shark anymore, which is what I was going for. Um, I might take this image and just rotate it just a tiny bit and then maybe move it over so we can make sure it's kind of covering that whole part. All right, so now what I want to do is I'm going to take all these layers. I'm actually going to combine them into one. So if I go to my, um, let's say I go to my first layer here, and then I'll scroll up to the top hold the shift key and click on this top layer and that means I have all those bottles selected and if I just right click anywhere in here and I want to take these layers and I'm going to scroll all the way down and I'm going to go to merge um, layers so merge those layers together into one so I can see that that's merged into one layer now what I'll do is go ahead and make that invisible I'm going to turn off the visibility on that layer for right now I'm going to go back and take my quick selection tool and I'm going to select all of the shark so that I get an idea of the shape of the shark, kind of its silhouette. Again, clicking once at a time with your quick selection tool might make things go a little bit more smoothly than clicking and dragging. You might find your quick selection tool tries to go outside of your lines. I'm actually having a good time with this regardless of the fact that there is a blue outside of the shark, which is very similar to the color the shark actually is. Okay, so now that I have that selection done, I want to select the inverse, the opposite, okay? So I'm going to go select inverse. Now I have all this outer space selected. And now that I've got that, I'm going to turn this back on. And I want to be on this layer that I've merged everything into. And I'm just going to hit the delete key. And what I'm left with is, and I hit command D to unselect, what I'm left with is the silhouette of this shark all filled with bottles. And so that's another approach to the parts project that we're working on here in computer art. And again, either approach is uh, fine by me for this project. And I hope you have lots of luck and fun and be creative.